But first, federal medical personnel now heading to Indiana to help hospitals during this latest COVID surge. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bob Donaldson. I'm Debbie Knox. A 20-person team from the U.S. Navy is headed to IU Health Methodist Hospital to offer help over the next month. The announcement comes with COVID-19 cases surging into the holidays and the highly transmissible Omicron variant identified now in the state. 3,000 new COVID cases were reported today. CBS 4's Kristen Escott joins us now in the newsroom to explain what this means for Hoosier hospitals. Well, Debbie, the Indiana Hospital Association tells me additional hospitals around the state, particularly in northern Indiana, are also requesting this kind of assistance. Now, this comes as many Indiana hospitals are treating more patients than ever before. With the Omicron variant that is looming, uh, it's, it, it just feels like there's no end in sight. Brian Tabor with the Indiana Hospital Association says there is no part of the Hoosier state that's immune from this latest COVID surge. He says Indiana hospitals are treating a record breaking total of 12,000 patients per day and the Omicron variant has just arrived. I don't know really that the system can can take a big surge from Omicron or or where we would be if we had an incident like uh, occurred down in Kentucky with tornadoes. The federal government is now joining Indiana's COVID-19 response. IU Health Methodist Hospital will receive 20 doctors, nurses, and respiratory professionals from the U.S. Navy. IU Health wouldn't talk to us Tuesday, but sent us a statement saying it's grateful for the help. Other hospitals are requesting similar assistance or support. Eskenazi Health is seeking help from the National Guard. We need all hands on deck. And so this should be a very objective sign to Hoosiers everywhere that Hey, we're, we're in dire straits here. With more and more patients and staffing shortages, Indiana hospitals say they're doing what they can to accommodate the need. We are boarding patients in our ER, which means they sleep overnight in the ER because there are no staff to beds available up on the floors. And so we're over 100% capacity on a regular basis. Now, hospital officials continue to point out the majority of patients in the hospital with COVID have not been vaccinated. Now, there's no word yet on whether additional Indiana hospitals could receive this kind of assistance. We did reach out to the Indiana Department of Health to speak about the federal help that's being offered. Officials declined our request for an interview and defer referred us to the Department of Defense. Live in the newsroom, Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News. Kristen